let's spawn a chest with a loot table. Alright, we find ourselves in Minecraft in this case, and we find ourselves in the cow house. This is the Forge version, however, this will also work in Fabric. So you can watch this whether or not you're in Fabric or in Forge. And what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of having an empty chest over here, we're going to spawn a new chest, and that is going to include some loot. So for that, you pretty much just need the slash set block at your current position. And then you want to set that block to Minecraft chest with the following NBT data, and that is loot table. And then you can see if this is the name of the loot table right here. And I will show you the uh, loot tables in just a moment, but if you do this and you spawn it, there you go. Now here is the loot table placed. Now this is important. Once you have spawned the chest with the loot table in it, do not open the chest. Otherwise this will not work. So then, right, you can go just go back to your, your structure block right here and you can save this again. Now, when this particular structure will spawn, it will randomize the loot. What will happen is if you, when you open this chest, and it's going to solidify the loot and it's not going to spawn random loot, but it's going to always spawn this exact loot. So now it's solidified, but because we have saved it before we opened the chest, it's going to always be random. So now let's go into IntelliJ, switch out the NBT file, and then that's literally all you need to do to have some, you know, chests with custom loot in it. Okay, there's any structures folder once again generated, and this is the Kalpen house. So we're just going to copy it, control C, and then we're going to go to the, where is it, the structures are right here, and we're just going to paste this in, count house NPT, overwrite it, and that is all that we need to do here. If you want to look into different, well, different loot tables, of course, external libraries, all the way to client extra right here, in data is actually correct, and we want to go to the loot tables, chests, and then here you have plenty of different chests that you can use. Now, you can, of course, create your own loot table. However, in this case, these loot tables are a bit more complicated. So let's say we use the simple dungeon one, and you can see, right, so there's plenty of entries over here with basically basically different rates. Well, what you can do is you can just copy one of those loot tables, change a few of the items around, and see if you like it. But it is definitely a little bit more complicated making a chest loot table uh, that you know, makes a good chest, basically. But this is also the case that you could do this, and then, of course, you just replace the Minecraft colon simple dungeon loot table name with mod ID colon chest slash whatever your actual name of your JSON file here is. Shouldn't be anything too crazy at this stage in development. You should basically know roughly how to do this. What if we now go into the game, make a new world, and see our Kalpen house? We'll see random loot in those chests. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft again in a new world. And let's just see if we can't find a Kalpen house over here. And then we'll see. All right, so here we are. I actually teleported to a Kalpen house. And if we now open this, you can see randomized loot. And it is different from the loot that we first saw when we opened the chest. Because once again, we didn't open it before saving. It's extremely important that you do not open the chest when you save it and you can, well, well let's just like fly over here and let's just see there's another Kalpen house and I can promise you that the loot is going to be completely different and that is extremely important. Do not open the chest when you, before you save the actual file. You can see it as completely different. We had like three music discs in the other one and, and this is full of other random stuff. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. So yeah.